So this is a brief overview video of games development at IT Sligo. So the video is going to show games built in the tools that we actually use in IT Sligo games development. Uh, and I'm going to describe the course while this video plays in the background. So the games development course is a three year course. It is a level seven degree. It is a programming focused course. So we are focused on the actual development of code and testing and implementation of abstract ideas. Uh, we are not focused on the design element. So we like to think that game design can be taught by doing. So we give you plenty of opportunity to make multiple projects throughout your time at IT Sligo. Uh, and so far this has shown to be absolutely fantastic. So students get to create whatever games they like uh, and each iteration of those games, the students get to learn new principles of game design as they test it uh, with people and of course test it with themselves. So we use Unity, Mono Game and Unreal Engine as our development tools. Here we can see Firewatch, uh, which is built inside in Unity, and of course the award-winning Disco Elysium, which was also built inside in Unity. We would like to emphasize the fact that while playing games is very fun, developing games is not the same thing. So developing games can be difficult, but if you like problem solving and overcoming logical challenges, then you are going to love the course. So here we can see Unreal Engine 4, which is something that we use in third year, and we're going to see it a little bit later on inside the video. And this is a very, very high-end games development tool, which is typically used to develop um, you know, multi-million dollar uh, AAA gaming experiences. So Gears Tactics is one example here, and we're also going to see Borderlands 3, which is also developed inside an Unreal Engine. So first year games development is a common first year. So it doesn't make a difference kind of what computing course you come in on. You'll all be doing the exact same thing. Um, but games development students, then we get our own individual subjects in the second semester. So here we're going to see some games that we have built in introduction to games programming. So we start off very, very simple with a nice game of Pong. And as we see here, we're going to start to progress into more kind of complex games with more advanced features, uh, all building on top of the previous games. So we like to do a game every single week. So it adds to your, I suppose, catalog or portfolio of games that you've built. The one that we're looking at right now was actually built as an assessment. So students did this within four hours in a class and this is the result of what they got so a Grand Theft Auto cloned from the early Grand Theft Auto games again platformer games all built in unity all building on the exact same fundamentals of what we've kind of done previously Of course, as this starts to progress, students get to do their own projects. So here's a first year student game where they're given a theme and they're allowed to build whatever game they like. So this was built by four people in the space of about four to five weeks. And of course we can see the results are very, very nice. And as we progress into second year, again, we're focusing on the programming and development aspects, but there are also some um, 3D content and 2D content subjects that allow you um, basically create 3D models and 2D assets for your own games. So here we see a project developed by four students over the course of five months as a final year project inside in Unity 3D. So this game has animations, it has particle effects, it has physics, it has enemy AI, we have ranged attacks, we have some nice visual effects, terrains, we got pretty much everything you'd expect inside in the game, but of course developed in a very, very short space of time. And as we move towards third year then, we start to jump into the more advanced kind of game and concepts. So we start to move into Unreal Engine, uh, we start to look at virtual reality, augmented reality, and then the applications of those technologies inside in games, but also outside of games. So games development at IT Sligo uh, is all about having a passion about games, playing games and making games. If you have an interest in how games are made, or even how they're designed, uh, then you are really gonna enjoy this course. If you like working in groups, it's kind of a requirement. Games are built in large teams uh, today. It is very rare that you'll get to make a game by yourself, but we would still encourage you, you know, if you're not the most social person to come uh, and meet your class and kind of build some games and make some friends. <laughs> 